Hey, welcome to What's Your Problem? I am your host, Scott Farrell. Problem today is, how do you get the perfect gift for somebody you love? All right, that's, that's easy. It's easier than what you think. So many people try to put so much emotion into this, and it's not that hard. All right, so let me give you a case in point, me and my wife. We decided a long time ago to just tell each other the truth. Okay, that was simple. We've been together for a while, but it's worked. All right, so a holiday comes up, a birthday comes up, something comes up. And I'll say, uh, like a smart husband does, baby, what do you want? And she's already been programmed to go, I would like this. All right, let's do it. See how easy that was? Now, a lot of people don't want to do that, but it works. It's My thought has always been, if you want to know someone, what somebody's feeling or thinking or what they desire, just ask them. And then it's their job to tell you what they want. Now, here's where this whole thing goes off the rails. People have a low self-esteem. People don't know how to ask for what they want. So they don't tell you. Or they tell you, or I I like this one. Oh my goodness, this one's maddening. If they loved me, they would know. Are you married to Merlin, magician? Or Kim Angel, who thinks he can read minds? I mean, can we be adults here? No, no, that's not how the world works. Walk into McDonald's tomorrow and go, if you loved me, you would know what I wanted to order and see if they don't either have the paramedics come get you or call the police. No, that's not how that works. If, if somebody hey, says, hey man, what do you want? I'd like this, okay. See how easy that is? Same thing with me. My wife will go, what do you want for your birthday? And normally we go to a concert or something for my birthday because mine's in the spring. So we'll, I'll say, well, I'd like tickets to this. All right, she goes and gets them. See how easy that it is? There's, there's no drama. There's no emotion. It's just meeting a need. And her, her birthday's in the winter, so I'll go, what do you want to do this year for your birthday? All right. All right, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for this? What do you want for that? All right, that's pretty simple. Uh, what kind of coach you want this year? It, whatever it is, we, we've been very clear on if you're asked a question, say what you want. Easy, right? All right, so how do you pick gifts for family? All right, so we're still talking about people we love. Or friends. Or somebody in your office that you really care about. I mean, it, that does happen. So you just ask them. And if you're in a cubicle, if you're not in an office, or I used to be in education, somebody's got something up in their room or their office that states the things they like. Or you do the really sneaky that most husbands do. They get the kids to ask the mom what they want, and then they relay the message back to the father, right? Whatever it is, the key is, I've always liked, hey, what do you want? All right, just tell me what you want and I'll go get it. I know that may take some thrill out of something, but it also takes the guesswork out of things because we, my spouse and I are at the age to where we don't want to play games. You know, we're in our late 50s. Uh, you ask me a question, I'll give you the answer, then, then I'll go get it. It's no different than what kind of biscuit you want. Chicken, steak, you want sausage, egg, whatever it is. You're going to tell me, then I'm going to go get it. What do you want in your coffee? Then I'll put it in. This, this, I know this takes all the drama out of things. I know people like drama. I'm not one of them. I, I apologize ahead of time for taking drama out of this. I, forgive me, please. But most people can't stand drama. They just want you to go get what they've asked for. I don't know why we mess up life. And this is what I mean. If it won't work in business, if it won't work when you're buying food, if it won't work when, you know, instead of calling Uber, you call a cab company, but you're mad at the cab for not being Uber. Now you had to ask for what you wanted, right? So why won't that work in a relationship or with family or with friends? It is your responsibility. You can't let your low self-esteem get in there. You can't get your lack of being asked, being able to say what you want, get in the way. If someone asks you a direct question like, what do you want for? Just tell them. Now I know a lot of people have been programmed by their families not to ask for what they want. I get it. But now we're all adults. And adults tell people what they want. If you can do it at a restaurant, you can do it in a relationship. If you can do it in a restaurant, you can do it at the office. If you can do it in a restaurant, you can do it with your family. Now, again, it's up to you. It's, it's, you have to decide your value, what you're worth, and what you want. If you want what you want, then tell people what you want. See how easy that is? You have to figure out what you want, then tell people. I'm thankful that, you know, my wife, I always tell her she's a dude with boobs, uh, but she's always just told me, this is what I want, and then I'll go make it happen. It's very simple. 
uh, for, for her birthday. A lot of times we'll get a cabin or something. We'll go away. All right. She goes, this is what I want. Now, she doesn't know where we're going, what I've booked, what we're going to do, but I've, I've, I've answered the request. She told me she wanted, I made it happen. All right, so that's about all I got to say today. But see how easy this is with gift giving? Find out what someone wants and then go do it. Again, I'm taking the drama out. I apologize ahead of time for making a drama-free solution for this. So forgive me on that part. All right. I'm being a clown, but if you have any questions for me or want to drop me a line and uh, let me know there's a problem I haven't solved or haven't talked about, that's great. Uh, S-C-O-T-F-E-R-R-E-L-L.com. ScottFerrell.com is my website. Now, I, I, I do consulting work. So who do I consult for? Businesses. I solve family business problems, et cetera, et cetera. And then I do small companies. And then I consult with families and individuals. Uh, I don't t- take everybody that, that knocks on my door. I don't. I take people that want to solve a problem. If you want your problem solved, and then, I, and then we'll sit down and talk. And maybe I'm not the solution for you. And that happens. But if I am, be glad to sit down and chat with you. All right, that's enough of this sequence. Uh, I'll see you next time on What's Your Problem. Take care.